<laughs> Pathetic. You handle a blade like a child. Play and make believe. How desperately you try to deflect each swing. Yet your arms shake more after every blow. Did you think that you could defend against my power? <sighs> Do you hear that, pray thing? Your blade strains, cracking like glass. How many more blows can it stop? How long until it breaks against my strength and I break you? <sighs> yes. Panic sweeps over your eyes. You must realize by now that you never had a chance. Pray thing. You might have been something in the other pits, clamoring to the top of the dregs, drowning rats for the approval of the ravenous crowd. But here, these bleeding grounds are mine. My name shakes the halls of glory. There are none stronger. I am a champion. And what are you? <sighs> Just a prey thing. Did you think that the gods would favor you today? <laughs> well, it seems that they've turned their gaze away. But the crowd hasn't. And they will see every detail of your fate. <laughs> they roar like a hungry beast. Their cries for bloodshed echo as thunder to the soul. They have traveled days and nights to watch this match. To watch you die, pray thing. Just imagine how furiously they'll scream when you're beaten and broken on the ground. How their howls for savagery will drown out your final whispered words. <sighs> Come then, the crowd has waited long enough to see your shameful end. <laughs> How pathetic. It's always the same story. A puffed up prey thing from the lower pits faces me, thinking that victory is in their grasp. And before long, they colour the sands of my arena, crushed first by pride, and then by my maul, dying broken. You are a sorry sight indeed. A prey thing with a scrap of a sword, clutched in shaking hands that can barely raise it. What made you think that your story would be different? That you could shame me? <sighs> so feeble. How could you ever believe that you would stand a chance against me? Uh, it would be so simple to end you here. The crowd would love to watch you kick and struggle as I crushed your skull in between my hands. And they would cheer with such fervor that it would drown out the sound of your bones cracking and grinding. 
that intimate little moment would be just for us, pray thing.